from the media day. Mm -hmm. um, after all the fun you guys had, you know, in Vegas for summer league, how did you take that experience? What did you learn from it? And then what have you spent the last few months kind of building off of from that and adding to your game? Um, I learned from it that here, here with Miami Heat, like we all embody the culture, the overall culture. You know, we we embody the rivalries. Um, and we're, we're green, you know, everybody coming with a chip on their shoulder and we all carry that. So that's what I learned by just being here with the uh, organization and that's carried all the way up to, to here, to the um, to the Miami Heat actual team. You know, the Summer League guys, they did a great job of recruiting all the guys to come on that team and then it's the, it's the next level with even better players and older veterans and that's still embody that culture. As a defensive-minded, defensive-focused guy, do you feel like there's you know, the developmental program here? Some guys it takes longer, shorter, whatever, different outcomes. But do you feel like with your defense, you can kind of find some minutes maybe earlier on in your career? Than, than um, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm coming coming into here just trying to do whatever it takes to help the team win. I feel like mm -hmm. with who I am, defensive minded, and it can easily translate to to the next level. Um, and I'm just just here taking every opportunity as possible, you know, just waiting for my opportunity. Have you already had sort of a, in, your, in your unofficial workouts with the, with the other guys this last month? Have you had any welcome to the league moments already? Uh, no welcome to the league moments yet. You yeah. know they're gonna they're gonna come sooner or later. <laughs> but um, just matching up with the guys, realizing like, okay, that's a pro shot. You know, yeah. Terry hit a tough shot or something like that. Yeah. AB hit a tough shot. Like, okay, these guys have been doing it for years. So yeah. it's just it's just knowing like. I just tried my best and it still wasn't enough, so I got to keep getting better. So that's probably like a welcome, welcome, welcome moment already. But it's gonna get, it's gonna get a lot, a lot worse. Good time. <laughs> so getting to be around guys like Jimmy and Bam and all these guys, and how how fruitful of knowledge do you think they, they, can, they can give you? And what are you looking forward to most to learning? Um, I'm I'm here for all all the knowledge as possible. Um, so. Um, I'm make, making sure I, I let the guys know that I'm, I'm open ears to whatever they got to tell me and everything. So um, I know they're both vocal guys. You know they can they can build some uh, build their young teammates up, and I'm here for it. I'm trying to learn as much as possible. They say if you start here in your career, you can you can make it anywhere in life. So I'm glad I'm here. How, and also, how special is it just to be able to along with a guy like Pele, who you've been teammates with, and like in summer league, and now you're going into camp now. Um, I always tell myself, if Pella out there on the court with me, I'm I'm good. I could I could I could win the war if, if Pella out there. You know he gonna dive on the on the floor, and get a charge. You know he gonna do the extra intangible things. So um, yeah, that's my role, dog. That's my twin. I call him my sweetest twin. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, what are you looking forward to as far as training camp and uh, you know developing some sort of skills and maybe trying to find a role within this team? I'm looking forward just to enjoying the energy that's, that's going to be in the room with high-level pros, you know, um, most likely future Hall of Famers, just, just finally being able to get that, like, physical feeling, like being out there on the court with them. So I'm going to just enjoy every moment of that. Who's the heat two-way guy who's made something of himself uh, that's been the most inspiration to you? Um, everybody. Everybody. Everybody looks good out there. Um, I mean, from, over, over time, not necessarily. I'm, I'm telling you, like, everybody from, from the E10 guys all the way up to the vets, we all been competing each and every day. Um, we all look good. Like, nobody's look like they don't belong here. Everybody look like they belong here. And that's kudos to, to Pat and the guys in the, in the front office, too, because they, 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 they recruit the right guys to come. And, and you, you obviously have a diverse skill set. What has been the staff emphasis with the coaches this month in terms of what specific skill development? Um, just, just competing, just competing, um, doing all the extra things, things that's going to translate. We know um, guys going to get their shots, and for me, I'm just, just the guy that's going to linger around and, and find my way, way through the basketball. Like, you know, the, the ball finds energy, so that's just what, I, what I'm going to be, just try to get extra possessions for, for the other guys and make my teammates better, make their job easier. No positions, kind of whatever these days. But do you kind of see yourself in the league as a, as a four or more of a like a wing? Um, I, I don't see myself as anything in regards on the offensive end, but I feel like I can guard whoever whoever's in front of me. So that's how I look at it. I don't really put no position too much to myself. You know, I'm in a six seven frame, but I can bump with the big and I can try to stay in front of the guard. Yeah. What did Pat Riley tell you, if anything, this summer about watching you? in summer league and what he thought he had. He just said, I'm, I'm a hard worker, and that means a lot. You know, he done seen everybody 
he, he's, he's on that ghost status. He has seen all the legends. So for him to say that I'm a hard worker, I'm not going to let that get to my head. I'm going to just try to prove him right each and every day. And, and in terms of that lunch pill mentality, uh, UD obviously epitomized that with his franchise. Have you had a chance to talk to him at all? For about sure. I talked to UD a lot. UD a lot. Me and him both have undrafted backgrounds. And he, he just took me under his wing so far. And now that means the most to me. You know, he's teaching me all the ropes. No, has he taken you to lunch? Has it been mostly here? For sure, for sure. He's he's when it comes to UD, he's he's gonna take care of all the young guys. So he's been taking care of all the young guys, just giving us free game. And I, I write it write it down, take take care of all that. MGM Remix Sports Media. You get you were a major impact. You made a major impact and you played a major role on that winning team for the summer league. What would you like to showcase your talent on that great stage? Mm, just finally I guess I kind of like got like a I finally made it moment. Um, not satisfied, but I, I'm finally here. Like, got an NBA jersey on. My family seeing me on TV with the NBA jersey on. So it's like I'm really doing it, you know. Along with the guys, other guys that's in my position, you know, who didn't get drafted or did get drafted. Every one of us on this Heat team was slept on. Like they probably didn't give us the respect that we needed. So we went out there and proved it. We went out there and proved that we was the best team. You know, so just seeing that, seeing how everybody, every one of us bought in, like we all bought into the culture. That, that's that's big for me. That's like another year of college. Like it's not just no NBA lollygag here with Heat culture. It's like real deal. So we 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 all we grind. We gritty. So I love that about this team. The the, the growth you showed in college with your three point game. How did that happen? Did you take 100 shots a day, 500 shots a day? Just getting in the gym, getting in the gym, continue to shoot me. Um, really, it really came from trusting my work and just putting um, putting my confidence first. You know, my confidence um, increased as I as I transferred to make the uh, make transfer to Arizona. Um, Coach gave me um, all the work I needed to just make mistakes and teach me throughout throughout those mistakes. So having that confidence, that free that free of mind to get the ball up, that's that's all the results for those numbers. How many nights were there in Tucson off nights where you just went into the game, went, went into the gym and shot the rest? Were there a handful of those nights that every you every spent day, there? every day, we was, was in the gym two times every uh, every day. Me and every one of the players on that team, from Pella all the way down our walk on, it's getting better. Some at night. Just you, where you guys would just go in on your own and all work the time. on your game? All the time. You know, we just got practice early, then come back later in the evening. You know, even getting in before practice, too. And that's kudos to the coaches, too. The coaches at Arizona, and they, it's real development there. And last thing on this, was there a certain number of shots that you would make yourself make in those workouts at Arizona when you were just there with a couple of your teammate guys mm -hmm. late at night? Any number of shots? Three. Yeah. A particular. lot of time, me and, me and Pella, we'll, go, we'll try to go 10 to 12 from three um, east five and do that however many times, you know. And when he hot, I'm hot. If I'm off, he pick me up. If he off, I'm gonna pick him up. So we just make each other better. Interesting. Thanks so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.